This video is not sponsored. With Apple making a right meal out of the iPad, the Tab S8 Ultra has quickly become a serious contender for a proper productivity tablet. There are many Android apps that I will be recommending for the tablet in my upcoming videos, but I thought I would start with my top five or six apps that are a must. As soon as I get it out of the box, these are the apps that I install pretty much straight away. Starting with Solid Explorer File Manager. I've tested about 50 file managers, if not more, both on iPad and the Tab S8 Ultra. This one is one of the best, if not the best file manager app out there. I can't believe this is not part of the operating system, but let's ignore that for now. Solid Explorer is incredibly rich in terms of the features that it offers. I have access to pretty much every cloud provider that exists when it comes to storage, so this will support all of those, including some services that I never heard of. Connecting to a cloud service is extremely easy, as you can see here. I also have a multitude of these external SSD drives and camera SD cards, you know, all of these things, but they all work without issues in this app. Not having to worry whether this was formatted on a PC or a Mac really helps in my workflow. As well as being a content creator, I have a tech consultancy business, which means some days can get really busy with moving files around and staying organized and being able to work fast is paramount for me. The default view is very simple, left and right view. On the left, you have the list of storage drives that you have access to. And on the right, you start with the internal storage but you can browse to any location here too. One of the coolest things is you can move multiple files at once. I don't know what the limit is here, but being able to move more than one file at the same time is great. Say I wanna download these two large files from Google Drive, no problem. And you can see the progress too, which is fantastic. For video files, it does this autoplay animation thing, which is super useful. These little touches are what makes this app so good and so easy to use. You can close the app and let the transfer carry on in the background while you get on with work. Again, from a productivity perspective, this is great. The transfer will just carry on in the background. For each folder, you can change how it appears, whether it's a list, a grid, a gallery, or a compact list, and how you want a sorting to appear as well. And this is such a simple feature, but extremely useful. You can change this for the entire app or just for the one folder. It is a paid app, but worth every penny. If you buy the full version before the, the trial expires, I think they give you like a 15 day trial, they give you a 50% discount, making the total cost <laughs> something like 199. Well worth it, amazing value. If you're wondering what this little gizmo is attached to the Tab S8 Ultra, this is the Acasis 10 in one hub. It basically transforms my Tab S8 Ultra even more into a computer. I use this for everything now, my MacBook Pro, the iPad, I'll leave a link to my full review of it down below, but basically when you open it, you've got this external SSD drive that you can put in there. Tiny little thing, you can carry it anywhere, very light and lots of ports. Yeah, can't recommend this enough. An app that I've been using for many years is Concepts. I've been using it on iPadOS and now on Android. I love how easy it is to use, so anyone can get started really. But I also like how it supports more complex concepts as well. For example, you can work with layers, you can work, you know, you can change the behavior of each tool when you're using it. Incredibly powerful for architecture style work, but also fantastic for artistic drawings. In what I do outside of YouTube, I sometimes have to explain really complex ideas into a visual form and this app really helps me with that. It works with the idea of projects. In each project, you can have many drawings and you can start from a picture, from an item that you copied in your clipboard, or simply drawing in a blank page. Once you're in the page, you get this wheel which you can move anywhere on the screen, but I love how it's just a small wheel, not taking much space on the, on the screen, not distracting you from what you're trying to do, you know, allowing you to take advantage of this amazing display on the, on the Tab S8 Ultra as well. None of those complicated drop-down menus, everything is here in this, you know, I don't know, 5% of the screen. If you don't like the wheel, that's okay too. You can change it to a menu style, but even that is very minimal. Again, staying out of the way. You don't need to use this drawing glove, but I find that it gives me an extra bit of control. I noticed that too. No gloves, right? I was meant to get that footage, but I forgot, sorry. I love how easy it is to change colors as well. This animation that it does when, you, when you're moving around with the colors, really nice and intuitive to use. And if you subscribe to their pro plan, you can get access to all of these amazing extra brushes and tools. To be honest, I would start with the free version first, do a few drawings, and only when you feel that you need extra tools should you consider subscribing because it's another added cost that you probably don't need straight away. What doesn't cost anything is subscribing to this channel. That is 100% free. And the benefit to you is, is that you get a tech review video at least once a week.
as a small channel like this one, it really helps when you subscribe because YouTube sometimes, they don't put the video in front of more people unless you do those things. I really, really appreciate that. Plus, I'm here, like I said, at least once a week with a new tech video that I hope you like it. And if you do like my stuff, a sub to the channel will be amazing. The next app is fabulous. I load this app pretty much as soon as I unbox the Tab SA Ultra or any device that I've got. Once you've set it up, you configure it according to what you want to achieve. Whether it's to you know, start an exercise habit or to build self-discipline in anything, this app can help you achieve your goals. Not gonna lie, that sounded a bit cheesy. It's true though. It works as your personal coach, basically. It uses really clever things like behavioral science to help you develop good habits, basically, you know, like having a morning and an evening routine, completely customizable by yourself. You know, you don't have to, to push too far. You just progressively improve. It also lets you compete with other people, but most importantly, with yourself. So you get this nice sense of progression the more you use it. You can start with simple things like sleeping better or eating more healthily and it can evolve into bigger goals that you might have. I can't recommend this enough. It's easy to use, it looks gorgeous on the screen, and it's really fun to use. The Android version on this tablet can be customized to look great. I love what Samsung did here already, but I like to add a touch of customization. Being Android, you get quite a lot of freedom with that. I use Nova Launcher and I loaded up Gladiant as my icon pack. Very clean, pleasing aesthetically, and doesn't add any lag or issues when loading apps. Really nice to see makes the whole experience look really good. Now, whether you're a creator or someone who simply enjoys taking nice photos or you know, either to print it or share on social media, Lightroom is a fantastic app by Adobe. There are many apps out there that will enhance your images, apply filters, you know, Instagram itself will do that. And I use some of them too. But to take that photo editing to another level, I think Lightroom is hard to beat, especially if you take photos in raw format it will give you plenty of room to play with, you know, the lighting and the contrast and the exposure. Once you've got those things right, the exposure is right and the lighting is as you want it, it's then time to customize and make, you know, make your own style or, you know, put your own artistic touch to it. If you don't feel like that though, there are some presets that can load up already. Use that to start with. And to be honest, sometimes that's all you need to do. It's just like applying a filter on Instagram. Using the pen with this app is fantastic. I love how the S Pen feels on the Tab S8 screen anyway. I don't know what material they use here on this pen, but it flows really nicely on the glass, giving you quite a bit of control, which is key when using something like Lightroom. Another app that I use a lot, it's quite a popular one, it's called Canva. They have a free version which gets you going and maybe all you need to start with. It was good enough for me to, to use you know, the free version for at least a year. It was only recently that I needed something a little bit different that I then pay for the full version. The main benefit of Canva is how you can start the work on a browser in your PC or your, or your MacBook, then move to a tablet, and if you want to, even the smartphone, to work on the same design. They have loads of templates to get you started, and what I find really useful is the social media templates. So you can design a particular real style on Instagram. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I use it for thumbnails sometimes, completely in Canva. And sometimes I start the process in Lightroom and Photoshop a little bit, then add a bit of flourish in Canva. I love this app. As a bonus, couple of apps, this is Alto's Adventure. It's a lovely little game. You have to pay $1.99, I think, to remove the ads, but I really recommend it. It's a great wind down sort of game after all the hard work throughout the day. It's nice to sit down, relax, and clear your head with an easy going game like this with great visuals. And talking about great visuals, this is Magic Fluids. The mushrooms are not included, but I think, never mind. It doesn't do anything that useful, but it's really cool. You can save what you create as a live wallpaper, for example. So I suppose it's sort of useful. Bit trippy, right? Could be a nice party trick. I think you're really gonna like this playlist over here and YouTube reckons you're gonna like this video over here. They might be right. There's only one way to find out. See you soon. I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy.